Hey Busy Bees, it's Sung. Today I'm gonna have a little bit of a spa day using my favorite ingredient, matcha. Honestly, who doesn't love matcha? It has all the great health benefits and we can infuse it inside our bodies and out. So let's go ahead and get started. First, I'm gonna make a matcha lemonade inspired by Cha Cha Matcha in New York, but with my own spin. In my big mason jar, large enough to hold four cups of water, I'm gonna add in one tablespoon of matcha powder, four tablespoons of simple syrup, and then I'm gonna squeeze the juice from three lemons. Juice it, baby, juice it. Then I'll give it a good stir, add in some ice, actually a lot of ice, and then I'll fill it up with water to the top. With my spoon, I'll give it another stir to distribute the matcha and lemonade. Give it another squeeze of lime because I think it really brings out the flavor of the matcha here. Add some lemon slices for garnish and a mint to make it extra fancy. Ooh, it looks pretty. Stick in my straw, give it a stir. Ah, so refreshing. Let's give it a try. It's so pretty. It is so good, it's nicely balanced, just a little bit sour with that little bitter grassy flavor of matcha. Not in a bad way. It's also loaded with antioxidants and EGCG, which fights cancer cells. I feel good drinking this. Ah, now that I've hydrated my body, next I'm gonna pamper my skin. I've partnered with Origins to bring you this Ritually Tea Matcha Madness Powder that's really nurturing for your skin. It has ingredients like oatmeal powder, green tea, green tea powder, sweet almond oil, and lavender oil. With my Ritually Tea from Origins, I'm gonna scoop two teaspoons of my Matcha Madness Powder, two teaspoons of warm water, Give it a stir. I love how it foams up here. It has sodium bicarbonate in here, which is basically like baking soda, so it makes your skin all nice and tingly. With my brush, I'm just gonna apply it all over my face. Paint it on. I love how there's actual tea leaves in here. It feels so refreshing and smells so good. Origin's first ever tea base collection is inspired by tea rituals from around the world combined with the ingredients rich benefits. Be sure to click on the link below or you can find these at your local Origin store. Now I'll let it dry for about 10 minutes while I sit and meditate. Om. Namaste. It smells so good. I love the smell of this. This antioxidant rich blend renews, restores, and relaxes the skin's texture while soothing and nurturing our senses with the herbaceous green tea scent. After 10 minutes, I washed it off and the tea leaves actually exfoliated my skin a little bit. It's so soft. This Matcha Madness face mask powder is awesome. It's convenient and ready to use. Now that I've tended to my inside and out, we're gonna make a matcha treat. I'm making matcha muffins three ways. I'll start with one and three quarter cups of all-purpose flour, half a cup of sugar, three teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of kosher salt, and one and a half tablespoons of matcha powder. I'll give it a good mix. Mix, mix, mix. And I'll set it aside. Now for my wet ingredients, I have one cup of milk at room temperature, one egg, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and a quarter cup of melted coconut oil. You can also use melted butter, vegetable oil, or avocado oil. Give it a good mix, and then I'll make a well and pour it into my dry ingredients. I'll mix it gently by hand until it forms a batter. We don't want to overmix the batter here because it's going to make the muffins really tough. Lumpy Dumpy is okay here. This looks good. Now I'll line my muffin pan and scoop in the batter until it reaches the top. I thought it would be fun to make three different variations of the matcha muffins. Spot is all about pampering and I want it all. I'll add in some raspberries on top. Raspberry and matcha goes together so well. Then I'll add in some coconut flakes. 
I'll swirl it into the batter this time so you get some coconut in every bite. Sprinkle a little bit more on top and then some chocolate chips because who doesn't love chocolate chips? I'll swirl the chocolate chips into the muffin and sprinkle a little bit more on top. I'll bake the muffins for 18 to 20 minutes at 400 degrees. They look perfect. Now I'll just let it cool for about 10 minutes. High quality green tea contains L-theanine, an amino acid that has been proven to relieve stress and improve focus. Eating this will make me so much more productive. All for me. Now let's try the chocolate chip matcha muffins. Ooh yeah. Oh, so fluffy. This looks perfect. Give it a try. Mmm, so soft. Mm. My favorite is the chocolate chip matcha muffin. Matcha and chocolate just pair so well together and I kind of taste a hint of coconut from the coconut oil too. This is really good. You guys have to try it. What do you guys think of all the matcha recipes? And for those of you guys that don't know what matcha is, it's basically a finely ground green tea powder and it's delicious. Let me know if you guys have ever tried green tea before. Comment below and please don't forget to subscribe for more fun recipes. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!